So I've been in a wheelchair all my life. I was born paralysed and I'm paralysed from the lesions T1 to T4, which means I can't feel or move anything from my chest downwards. Uh, I've been injured for nearly 19 years now. Um, incomplete C7, complete T2. Um, so I'm sort of on that cusp of having enough independence that, and hand function that I can be independent without needing any care, um, but still have obviously a reasonably high level of injury. I have a spinal injury T3 to T7. I a type 1 diabetic. Um, I had an, an injury on my toe um, from wearing a pair of shoes, believe it or not. And then, cutting a very long story short, I had to have an amputation. But whilst doing that, uh, I had a stroke in my spinal cord. Um, and that's basically why I'm in the chair. When I was going through my rehab at the spinal unit, I had a physiotherapist that was very explicit to me that movement was really, really important for my general well-being and would enable me to live the life that I wanted. I remember her saying to me that moving for 30 minutes a day, no matter what it was, whether it was going for a push or doing some sort of exercise that got my heart rate up, was something that I should try and integrate into my, my daily life. I found my local basketball club, which was Aces Wheelchair Basketball Club, and I just started going along, playing for fun. It was an amazing social element. It enabled me to meet other disabled children who had similar needs to me and maybe who understood what I was going through at that age, and I loved it, obviously. It's a fast sport, so what was there not to love, really, and I, I loved being in a team atmosphere. For me, rugby has been a win in every direction because I'm having a great deal of fun with a bunch of like-minded individuals and I'm getting fitter and stronger. The fitter and stronger I am, the more I can do. The more I go out and do, the fitter and stronger I get. The way badminton has helped me is everything got stronger in terms of my core muscles, my arm, and it just made life a bit, little bit more easier around the home or if I go to any other venues. It really helped me to reach things better. You meet so many other people in the sport. It's helped me with my confidence, self-esteem. It makes you concentrate. It's like rehabilitation for me. It helps me to focus um, and it helps, also helps me to feel good, really feel good about myself and what I can do and what I've achieved. And it's the, what I have achieved in my wheelchair. In my experience, the fitter that you are, the easier day-to-day -day life is. I am a father, which I never thought I'd be. We have a baby. I'm perfectly capable of taking Freya out for the day with me and putting her in the car and getting myself in the car and going out for a, a day trip. It's, again, something that I didn't ever think I'd be able to do. Physical activity and exercise is important for everybody, but following a spinal cord injury is more important than ever. There are many benefits to physical activity and exercise. The benefits to your health in terms of preventing future medical problems, but also research shows there are immediate benefits to your health in terms of reduction in pain, improvement in your mental health, and improved sleep.